Army Pathfinders on forward operating base Wolverine in Zabul Province, Afghanistan, head out to the village of Kuchni Shur. It's a routine mission they've done before. Who, uh, who is the elder of this village? They meet with local villagers in a key leader engagement, discuss security, medical and education issues, while other soldiers check out anything suspicious. It's their first time at this particular village, says Detachment Commander Captain Matthew Lensing. I'd say this was actually a pretty uh, well-received village for us. Normally, uh, we don't, we're not always treated as well when we come into these villages, but they were very accommodating and willing to speak to us. Anticipating a rather quiet rest of the day, they returned back to the base. Hey, where's... But as soon as they made it back... Where's Torch 1? Everything changed. Hey, give me Espinosa and Nix now! Two Afghans shot by the Taliban need help at the Pakistan border. All right, so I have a gun team in the gun. Right? The landing zone is too hot for the Army medevac helicopters to land. The Pathfinders have less than 30 minutes to plan, refit, rebrief, and jump on Black Hawk helicopters to help. Arcos, wet. All right, get ready to move. This is what I live for, man. This is what we do. Border Patrol just got uh, shot up. There's no landing uh, area for Blackhawks at this time to get a medevac in there. Pathfinders are going to set up HDLZ, call them medevac, get them out of there. It's a little nerve wracking, but yeah, that's what we Staff do. Staff Sergeant Alvarado is a Pathfinder yeah, we're, medic. That's what we're all trained for, so we're ready. And will be on get scene to treat the wounded. He doesn't know much about their injuries, so a lot is going through his mind. This is different scenarios, different uh, treatment. Uh, Depending on what they might have, you know, what would I do? It's pretty much what's going on right now. You know, all the steps, following all the steps that I got to follow. The Blackhawks take off and travel over mountains and valleys to a spot about 20 kilometers from the Pakistan border. Specialist Corey Moore will lead the charge as the first pathfinder off the bird, unsure if the Taliban is still around. Yeah, it's always something to be weary of when you go into a place you don't know, uh, especially, you know, we, we went in blind. But, you know, you're always ready for anything, so you just kind of roll with the punches and take it as it comes. There's no sign of the Taliban as the soldiers set up a hasty security here at border outpost Obado. Staff Sergeant Alvarado and the other Pathfinder medic assess the injured. Hey, so this guy over here got shot in the head, so he's definitely hurt. Both are Afghan border police. One shot in the forearm, which fractured his radius. The other, more serious, was shot in the head, but didn't puncture the skull. With the LZ secured by the Pathfinders, Captain Lensing calls in the medevac helicopter. One Bravo, line six, Papa, possible enemy in the area. The bird swoops down for a landing within seconds of his call. In that same quickness, the bird leaves, not wanting to expose itself to possible enemy contact. Yeah, anytime you can do you know, an op like that to help somebody is always a good thing. Uh, you know, everybody joins for combat, but it is another aspect of our job that we have to do that's you know just as rewarding. Okay, stay there. Matter of fact, shift over like 20 minutes. The men of Fox Company Pathfinders say even through all of today's craziness and multiple missions, today was still a great day to be a Pathfinder. Marine Staff Sergeant Jeremy Vaught, Forward Operating Base Wolverine, Zabul, Afghanistan.